Water is essential for life, and in many parts of the world, water is a scarce resource. People lack access to clean drinking water, access to sanitation. Uh, so our message essentially is that water is an essential uh, and rare resource that we need to steward and conserve uh, and use more efficiently. What are you looking for in terms of, uh, of the role of governments? We're here in, in Brussels, the capital of the European Union. What role do you see for at the, at the European level, but maybe also at a, at a more regional level for regional governments? Right. Well, ultimately, governments need to set the policies for efficient use of water and water stewardship. Uh, they play a critical role in the pricing of water. As a scarce resource, we need to ensure that we are paying a fair uh, and adequate price for water. Uh, we need to invest in infrastructure to move water, to provide clean water for people, uh, to provide sanitation, to keep the water clean uh, in the rapidly growing cities of the world. Government plays a critical role, but there's also a role for the private sector. Uh, many parts of the world lack access to the water infrastructure they need, so there's a role for the private sector as well as the public sector in investing in water infrastructure. Public-private partnerships is a, is, a, is a phrase that is heard a lot in this discussion. Uh, is that successful so far? Um, different parts of the world have adopted different approaches to meeting the needs for water infrastructure. There is a role for both the public and the private sector. There's not a one-size-fits-all prescription, but the capital we need to raise and, and invest in water infrastructure is more than the public sector alone will be able to generate. What, what do you, uh, as Nature Conservancy, see as the critical success success factors for that cooperation between companies and, and governments? Uh, in, in terms of the role of companies working with governments on water uh, conservation, uh, the basic good policies need to be there uh, in terms of the pricing of water to ensure that we're investing adequately in water as a scarce resource. There's an especially important role for the efficient use of water and water conservation. Uh, much of the water we use globally uh, is, is wasted through uh, inefficient use or, or even evaporation in some cases. Uh, so government policy that incentivizes the private sector to use water more efficiently is essential. Um, uh, at the Nature Conservancy, we're also very focused on where the water comes from. Uh, as cities grow rapidly around the world, they depend on the surrounding landscape, the forests and the other natural ecosystems, as a source of water. And typically, we don't invest enough in where our water comes from in terms of maintaining the health of those ecological systems. That's a big priority for us. Some experts are saying that uh, that water basically is going to, to play the role that oil played in the 19th and, and 20, uh, 20th century. Uh, what do you see as the, as the big challenges and, and what do you expect to happen in terms of water issues later on in this century? Well, water is a, a critical strategic resource and like energy, uh, it is hard to find in, in many parts of the world. It's becoming scarce. 70% uh, of the world's water is consumed in agriculture uh, and as we uh, produce more food to feed a growing population with rising income standards, finding and, uh, and preserving that water will become essential. Uh, so investments in the conservation of, of watersheds where water comes from, uh, investments in more efficient uh, ways of using water in cities, in factories, in agriculture, uh, those are essential. Do, do you feel there is enough awareness among policymakers and decision makers in the world about the importance of this, this water issue? Um, I, I think people understand how essential water is for life. I don't think there's enough awareness of the whole set of issues involved in providing that essential resource, all the way from preserving healthy watersheds to uh, more efficient use of water to investing what we need in the infrastructure to deliver water and sanitation services. So there's awareness, uh, but not enough understanding or enough cooperation between the public, private, and NGO sectors on water. What do you think needs to be done in order to address that? Uh, well, water is essential for life, so I think we need to remember uh, how dependent we are on the resource uh, and think more about where it comes from. Um, governments need to be more focused on uh, making sure the price of water is set properly to really cover uh, the investments we need in infrastructure, um, and uh, we can all do a better job of using water more efficiently. At the Nature Conservancy, we've helped launch something called the Alliance for Water Stewardship, which is a, a cooperative partnership of companies and 
government agencies and NGOs, all dedicated to using water more efficiently, to keeping water clean, to reducing pollution, to conserving watersheds. Uh, and we're excited about that effort, but we need more people involved. Yeah, okay, thanks very much. Is there anything else you wanted to say that I didn't ask for? Well, it's just really a pleasure to be here uh, on World Water Day uh, in Brussels, where, where important policy is set, not just for Europe, but for the world. Uh, and this is a global problem. We particularly need to help developing countries who are growing rapidly, who don't have uh, the capital that they need to invest in uh, water conservation and, and water infrastructure, uh, and Europe can play a critical role there.